Victoria Mayer and I'm a host for National Geographic's Wildlife Channel, Nat Geo Wild. And I'm here as a biologist uh, to look at and see what's being done with the wildlife crisis now that this oil spill has taken place. There are huge efforts going on in Louisiana and Alabama to try and rescue some of the wildlife that has um, suffered as a result of the oil spill. The last couple days I've spent with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife folks uh, looking for oiled birds. Uh, we were able to recover a couple of oiled birds, brought them back for stabilizing, and now we're here at the Rehabilitation Center looking to see what's the next step with these animals be cleaned up and released back into the wild. Uh, these are the necessary steps in order to save their lives. Uh, very important mission. The brown pelicans, for example, were on the endangered list. They've just come out of that, were thriving, and now because of this, they may need to be put back on. I was with the Louisiana Fish and Wildlife folks. Uh, we went out to look for sea turtles. Uh, same thing, the sea turtles are one of the animals that are most gravely being affected by the oil spill, and the animals that they eat are being affected, and, and so they're ingesting them, they're being caught in the oil, um, very toxic and very harmful to the animals. So my interest here as a biologist is to see just how much damage, kind of assess what's going on with the wildlife, and also look at the positive sides of what's being done to help rescue them and save them.